Pacific Adventures dry dock is complete. Australia's Minister for Tourism, Dan Tahan, is keen for cruising to return, and Princess swaps a royal for a sapphire. I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. As always, thank you for subscribing to my channel, and if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. There is finally light at the end of the tunnel. It might be dim, but it's there. Just. This week, New South Wales released its roadmap out of rolling lockdowns, which, although is contingent on 70% double dose vaccination, gives the whole country hope about what is to come. And in that vein, Australia's Minister for Tourism, Dan Tahan, this week said that he's very keen to see cruising return. The minister continued to explain that the return of cruising is contingent on the cooperation of all states and territories, and also the Australian Health Principal Protection Committee. His hope is that achieving a national rate of 80% vaccination would put the country in its strongest position yet to see the return of international cruising. The minister's comments at least provide some form of hope that within the government, the plight of the cruise industry is finally being taken seriously with some consideration being given to its eventual return. On a personal note though, I'm once again disappointed that international cruising remains the focus. Clear, cruise lines and individuals have been calling for the resumption of domestic services for ages. There is clear evidence from overseas that domestic operations with the proper health protocols in place do not pose any further risk to an individual than going to your local shopping centre. I hope to see this sentiment echoed in plans soon. Over to Italy, where Pacific Adventures dry dock is complete. The 290 metre, 109,000 gross ton ship has had the striking p and Southern Cross livery painted onto her bow. As well, P&O Australia have reported that the ship now sports new dining venues on board, including from celebrity chefs Luke Mangan and Johnny DeFrancesco. P&O's modern take on the cruise ship buffet, The Pantry, has also been installed. New public spaces, including the Adventure Hotel and Blue Room, will offer a range of entertainment from Australian musicians when operations resume. As yet, there haven't been any further photos or updates about Pacific Adventure's most notable physical attribute. Some call it the trolley handle, others the spoiler, but this space, perched up high on Deck 17, will be a hub of nighttime activity. On Golden Princess, it was known as Skywalker's Nightclub, and on Adventure, it will be the aptly named Altitude Nightclub, and I'm sure it will remain the place to be every night. Pacific Adventure remains in Trieste, Italy, now in Webtock, where her transformation continues. Thanks to my viewer Les for alerting me to this, Holland America have cancelled a range of cruises between January and May 2022 and offered their affected guests alternative voyages in 2023. The voyages include all Australian, New Zealand, Asian, South American and Antarctica itineraries during this period. Affected guests can also opt for a full refund if the replacement voyage is not to their liking. Similarly, Princess have pulled the Royal Princess from Australian service between August and October 2022. The Sapphire Princess will fill in for her sister ship sailing the same advertised itineraries. To facilitate the change, a range of voyages on board Sapphire Princess scheduled between September and November from the Port of Los Angeles have been cancelled. In other news from Princess, they have updated their vaccine mandate for all US departures, which means that until the end of the year, irrespective of age, every guest will need to be vaccinated. And Royal Caribbean is making its long-awaited return to the west coast of the USA, basing the Navigator of the Seas in Los Angeles. The placement marks the end of over 10 years of Royal Caribbean's absence from the US west coast. Well, that's about it for this week's cruise news update. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And if you are looking to book a cruise for 2022 and beyond, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au. And if you haven't done so already, you can give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram at The Cruise and Travel Guide. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. This week, New South Wales released its roadmap out of continuing rolling lockdowns. And, and in that vein, as a nope said this week that he is very keen there is clear evidence from domestic operations being successfully in place with the proper health protocols can be run at no further risk than being posed um that's not english there is clear evidence from uh no